The Benin's presidential election is set for Sunday. 33 candidates are in the running to take over from President Thomas Boniyaya, Boniyayi, rather. but uh, there are still concerns that thousands of people might not be able to cast their votes after delays printing their voter ID cards. Katerina Vitozzi has more. Up until Friday, this boulevard in the center of the commercial capital, Cotonou, was lined with campaign posters. But now, with the presidential election just a day away, they have been taken down as official campaigning has wrapped up. There are 33 candidates vying for the top job to lead Benin. And with 4.7 million registered voters, it's going to be a tight contest to see who could win either outright in the first round or continue through to a second round runoff. One thing is for sure, whoever gets that job well, voters are expecting a lot from them. In my opinion, the priority for the new president is education. Then there's an employment which is everywhere and then there are health services. The new president must be someone who knows the country, loves its people, the population of Benin, and they've got to sort out education. Benin's presidential election has already been pushed back a week because of difficulties printing voter ID cards. There are still some major challenges with two regions in the country not receiving their new cards. There's been a special ruling put in place by the Constitutional Court. They have said that voters can use their voter cards from 2015, but that doesn't help many people in the surrounding areas where they say they still haven't received their cards and therefore don't know how they're going to be able to cast their ballot. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Cote New Benin.